Welcome, guys. We're in the back at Fred's Meat and Bread, and right here with the executive chef, D-Rock. And Derek, actually Derek, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Derek, I appreciate you taking the time to meet up with us. All of us understand how great your burgers are. I just want to get a better understanding of what makes this place so special. All right. So, welcome to Crog Street Market. Welcome to Fred's Meat and Bread. Michael is one of our regulars. He enjoys our house-made burgers. I literally sit in the front all the time, like at least once a week, right? At least once a week. So what makes us special here at Fred's Meat and Bread is we do everything in-house from scratch. We house grind our burgers. We use three different cuts of meat. We use chuck roll, chuck flap, and brisket. I can't give away the portions or the sizes. It's a proprietary secret. But we get the cuts in fresh, we grind them, we form the patties, and we do a smashed burger here at Fred's Meat and Bread, which means we don't take cook temperatures. We just cook it all the way through. Um, it's We believe in simplicity at Fred's. It's just a thin layer of mayonnaise, American cheese, two patties, and bread and butter pickles on a sesame toasted bun made from our bakery, TGM Bread, located in Emory Point. So that's interesting, because a lot of people get their bread from Holman and Finch. Correct. So you guys are not going that route. Have you guys ever went that route before in the past? We haven't. Um, we've always believed that we can do it better in-house. Um, so we started making our own bread on a very small scale, and we have quick, quickly grown into a medium neighborhood-sized bakery that serves many other restaurants in the Atlanta area. And I know that you guys have several different types of burgers that you have on the menu. I particularly like the, the burger stack. It's simple, meat and cheese, and the beauty of it is like I don't need many different types of sauces on there. So I'm kind of wondering why, how does you make it so juicy? It's not sauces, right? I take a bite into it, my hand's covered with grease, which is delicious. How do you guys breathe that grease? We don't trim the fat from our meat. We like to keep the fat inside and incorporate it into the grind. That's all the juice that you're getting when you bite into that burger. Oh, wow. Well, that's great. So if you kind of walk me through exactly what he's doing. So he's got a little portion control size, and he just rolls it up in a ball, and then after that, what do you guys do? You guys just... So George just ran the meat through the grinder. It's approximately 35 pounds pounds of meat. Oh, wow. What he's doing now is breaking it into single portion sizes. He's going to weigh them out at 3.5 ounces per ball. Each burger consists of two balls. And as soon as George is done with this one, I'm going to walk you guys over and we're going to make one. Oh wow. I'm going to bust up my nice gloves. And everyone makes fun of me because I always wear these black gloves. But look at this. He's wearing black gloves. You guys can't give me crap about that. Oh, now you're going with the white gloves now. I see how it is. They're cheaper. All right, cool. Ah, I see what you're saying. All right, you want me to bust them out or what? Go ahead and let's get you a couple gloves, Michael. Okay. All right, gentlemen. One burger stack from start to finish. Two certified Angus beef patties. Take your spatula. Smash it. Here what about the grease though? Don't you, don't you think you're extracting out the grease by doing that? No? That is common, that is a common myth. Yeah. Once you have your meat in place, you want to let it sit. You, that's when you're gonna push the grease out. Okay. The most important part to any cooking, guys, whether you're doing burgers, whether you're doing steak, seasoning, you always want to use salt and pepper. It's what makes food taste good. Not like paprika, cayenne pepper, um, rosemary. You know how a lot of people like to do some like fancy stuff with it, right? Yep. So you just make it simple. Simple is the key. A the lot flavor of people, all comes from the meat though, right? The flavor is coming from the meat. We use the best cuts of meat. Certified Angus. Where do you get your meat from? We get our meat from a local meat guy. Here in Atlanta. Okay. It is... Can't tell you that. Huh? I can't tell you that. Not McDonald's, right? Uh, what's your next burger off, sir? Bacon burger. Bacon burger? All right, so gentlemen. After we smash the burger, we're letting we're letting the bottom side sear. We want a nice hard sear. As soon as you start to see it cook around the edges, we're gonna pull the burger up, give it a flip. See that sear? Oh wow. That's what you're looking for. Wow. 
All right, second patty. Now this is the key, guys. As soon as you flip, drop the cheese on. When the cheese is melted, the burger's finished. I mean, this is I mean, it's simple. I mean, I don't see how it could be difficult to make a burger like this. You know how there's a lot of people have different types of sauces on their burger. Some people like to add like a different types of uh, on a fermented cabbage and bunch of steak different sauce, aioli, yeah. cover it up with I mean, lettuce and good. tomatoes that and onions. Good. Yeah. You know what I've found most times? The more stuff people are adding to their burgers or their sandwiches, they're trying to cover up things. Here, we want the flavors to show themselves. Right. We want the burger to speak for itself. Right. So your American cheese is starting to get melty. That's your indicator that your burger is finished. Take one patty, yeah. stack it on top of the other one, pick it up, turn around. You got a hamburger bun ready to go. Traps all that juice in there. That's what I love. It keeps about. it warm. Yeah. That's awesome. There you go, sir. A burger is born. <laughs> Who I serve this to? Yourself. I, myself. Okay. Well, let's give this a shot. All right. All right. All right. So, Derek, what do I have in front of me right now? So, Even though I know what it is, but let's go tell the people what we have in front of me. So this is Fred's meat and bread double stack that we just prepared in the back ready to go and be consumed. You've got your house-made sesame seed bun, two patties, two pieces of American cheese, bread and butter pickles. And tell me about the pickles. Now, this is actually homemade, right? Homemade. So the bread and butter pickles are sweet and sour pickles. They're not a full dill. They're not full sweet. Um, you're getting the acidity level that will balance out the salt from the cheese and the meat. And it's a very good complement to our juicy double stack. Yeah. All right, let's give this a shot. This is my not my first rodeo, guys. And by the way, this is the this is my chair. This is where I sit at every probably once a week. Minimum. Have my name. Have Minimum. My na I should have my name on there. All right. I'm not surprised. I mean, fresh, cooked to order, steam still rising off the bun. Look how juicy that is too. It leaves a nice little puddle on your placemat. Are you really going to go for a really good diet where you want to get lean and cut? I highly recommend you guys eat this at least once a day. Would you say so? I'm kidding, don't do that. But this is really delicious. It's really juicy. You guys are able to taste the different blends of meat. And I think obviously that's probably why it has a lot of flavor into it. He was talking about how we don't have to make it so difficult. We don't need to add so much different types of cayenne seasoning or any sort of garlic powder. All you need is salt and pepper. But the flavor obviously comes from the different blends of meat. This is pretty delicious, man. Um, I don't mean, I mean, like I said, this is not new. No, I've not at all. Here. The same thing every time, you know? If you're using good cuts of meat and you're using the right amount of seasoning, you should never fail. If your burger's not juicy, man, they're not making it right. Never frozen. Never frozen. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much, man. Man, thanks for coming down and hanging out with us, I'm probably going to end up seeing you two days from now. I'll probably. see you this weekend. All right, man. All right, All right buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Well, guys, looks like this is going to be a wrap, and I can't thank you enough for Selene. I can't thank you enough for Derek and Justin for allowing us to go ahead and bust out everything that's in the back of your kitchen, but also not only that, just showcasing what a great restaurant you guys have. Guys, I highly recommend you guys come here on the weekends. If you guys want to come over here, check out different types of burgers, and also really good street Israeli food. And then after that, go grab yourself a nice brew and go walk outside along the Beltline on this beautiful and gorgeous Saturday afternoon. I highly recommend that, guys. Until next time, thank you guys for joining me.